These government programs for the dominant caste were in force during the lifetimes of many current-day Americans. These programs did not open to African Americans until the late 1960s, and then only after the protests for civil rights. The more recent forms of state-sanctioned discrimination, along with denying pay to enslaved people over the course of generations, has led to a wealth gap in which white families currently have ten times the wealth of their black counterparts. If you are not black, and if you or your parents were alive in the 1960s and got a mortgage, wrote Ben Mathis Lilly in Slate, you benefited directly and materially from discrimination. The very machinery upon which many white Americans had the chance to build their lives and assets was forbidden to African Americans who were still just a generation or two out of enslavement and the apartheid of Jim Crow, burdens so heavy and born for so long that if they were to rise, they would have to work and save that much harder than their fellow Americans. Rather than encouraging a greater understanding of how these disparities came to be, or a framework for compassion for fellow Americans, political discourse has usually reinforced prevailing stereotypes of a lazy inferior group getting undeserved handouts.